Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book review on Elevation by Stephen King. By what I kind of expected. I didn't expect much. I didn't read what it was about. I didn't care. It's Stephen King. I'll pick it up. I just knew it was a shorter one and I was like, okay, I'm in the mood to sort of read something quick and I just expected this to be kind of mediocre, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by it. So I ended up giving this one four stars uh, and that's because I love the characters. The concept was super interesting. But let me tell you what it's about. This is about a guy named Scott who confides in his doctor. Uh, something weird is happening with him where he looks like he's the same weight and he stays the same weight, but he's constantly losing weight, like very, very drastically to an unhealthy amount. So by the end of the book, we kind of see what happens with that. So basically he goes to the doctor and it's kind of like, how is this possible? How am I losing this much weight? And then when he goes on the scale, if he like brings, I don't know, a boulder, like a big rock, whatever, he holds something, it will still say that he's the same weight as if he wasn't holding a heavy object. There's an annual like Thanksgiving 12k run that a bunch of them go on so Scott decides to do this despite his condition and what's going on with him. Scott's neighbors are these two ladies and he kind of has issues with one of them and then the other one he's more friendly with so we kind of see how those relationships progress as the book goes on and they're doing the marathon as well. I'll talk about some notes that I wrote down from this. Build a cat, my favorite. Truly. Dee Dee and Missy are married to one another, so there's a lesbian relationship in this book. Dee Dee is a runner and her her and her wife have a restaurant together that they own in this small town. But like the reason why the reason why Dee Dee and Scott started getting upset with each other is because the dog keeps shitting on their lawn and she doesn't pick it up. Despite like the whole town ignoring the lesbians, treating them like garbage, Scott goes out of his way to like befriend them, even though one of them is very rude to him, goes out of his way to befriend them and to go to the restaurant, support them, um, learn more about them, and kind of tell some people off in this town. So he really stuck up for the lesbian. Some of the friendships that formed in this book, so I wrote down like Scott, Dee Dee, Missy, um, and then Bob and Myra. There was also a reference in this book to a band, and the band was called Pennywise and the Clowns. I was so excited about that. This book did take place in Castle Rock, so it was nice to be back in that setting. So the marathon was called the Turkey Trot. <laughs> And that's where like a lot happens. That's where what most, I would say maybe half the book is, is it? like them running the marathon and how uh, Scott kind of interacts with uh, his neighbor that he's kind of having a feud with. And uh, he also just wants, he, he knows he's losing weight rapidly. His time is limited. He wants to do this last run. And I didn't understand the title before I picked it up. I was like, why is it called that? Like not in like a judgmental way, but more like, what does the what why is this called elevation and with the cover and everything too by all of the end by the end it all made sense it all made sense by the end um i really enjoyed it i thought it was a great short story um i'm wondering why it was released like separately as opposed to like in a short story collection but maybe it will i don't, I don't know but i really like this kind of like i don't know what you would call this like magical realism eh, like kind of story. Overall, I really enjoyed Elevation. I'd recommend picking it up if you haven't. It's definitely like a new favorite King short story. It's not what I expected. Overall, presently surprised. There is trigger warnings in this one for things like homophobia and rape as well, so keep that in mind before picking it up. Uh, down below I'll link like a link that has all the trigger warnings for this book so that before you pick it up if you want to look into more what it's about you can. I would also say like a trigger warning could be the eating disorder part of this book because even though he doesn't have an eating disorder I think it could be triggering for people with eating disorders to hear about someone losing weight so rapidly so keep that in mind as well. I'm just trying to think of all the angles but yeah. And there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know what Stephen King book you want me to read next. You're probably gonna say The Stand or 112263 um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon with a new one, hopefully.